Hello, it's Adam, also known as AB Animation Limited here, and today I'm on the Craftanium server once again to continue building the farms that I'm setting up behind my house. Um, not last episode, but a couple of episodes before, I built uh, just out there my uh, wheat farm, quite a large wheat farm too. Um, and today I'm going to hopefully try and make uh, farms for as many other things as I, that I can grow as I can. So that will be reeds, potatoes, carrots, melons, pumpkins, cacti, such things as those. So um, we've uh, harvested this quite a few times. I've got plenty of bread now and I've got a load more in there that I'll need to sort out later. So. Uh, the farm's certainly been useful so far, it's definitely been worth building it. Um, and all I need to do is just figure out where I'm going to build this, because that's going to be interesting. So I'm, I'm going to have to terraform a little bit, I think. Um, let's see, so, I guess what I can do, if I just level this a bit towards the house... Um, right, we'll cut down this tree. Um, as you can see, I've already made a lot of fence. Well, I've got a feeling I'm going to need even more than that. Um, this could probably take a while. I won't go too far back. How about when it goes as far back as here? Even then, it's going to be quite a bit. Problem is, of course, uh, things can drop in if there's this big hill here, and that's not really what I want. Uh, maybe we'll have to work on that later, or maybe we can just... Mm -hmm. I don't know. Maybe we'll have to do it like this, leave a gap. Although I think things are still going to be able to drop down into... Uh, I don't know. Because mobs tend to move more slowly and they don't usually cover the gap even if... I don't know, I'll te terraform a bit more later, but uh, let's uh, take this all out. Um, I'm not sure what I'm going to make first. So I've got to extend this up to about here. Um, there's no real like way of getting around at the moment, which is a bit of a problem. Oh well, um Let's try Um Uh let's see Let's put this down. Oops. Right, so, uh, instead of just sat here waffling on about pretty much nothing, what can we talk about today? Uh, let's catch up with what's been actually going on on Craftanium. So, um, uh, we've finally, after a very long time, got our Never Hub up and running. Um, we did most of it during a recent server night live stream and uh, finished it off over the next couple of days after that. Uh, okay, so that's going to be. Hmm. That's awkward. It's not very efficient. Hmm. Uh. I didn't really plan this out again. <laughs> I didn't last time either. Um, oh, actually, no. Oh well. Oh, I tell you what. What we could do is have our like melons and stuff on, on the left, and uh, oh, damn. And then on the right could be like the. Uh, what they called the 
potatoes and stuff and carrots. Because whoa, okay, what's this? This is a creeper hole that's been filled in, not properly. I do have the instruction that these creeper holes should be completely filled in because uh why stuff tends to spawn in them is a problem we had a lot on the old crafters season one server. Right, let's start filling this in. Um, <coughs> so yeah, now that the Never Hub is up and running, people are finally starting to move out from the spawn town. Um, from what I understand, it Mega Hatch already has a place going out in the desert near Al's village. Um, uh, Fish Kings, one of our two new members, has found a place. Um, what else? Tux already knows where he's going to move to, but he hasn't started yet. Um, I've found a place that I'm not going to disclose at the moment, and I'm going to be starting to figure out what we're going to do there very soon. It's certainly going to be interesting. Um, finally be able to uh, build some pretty cool stuff without worrying about all these other houses around us and build bases and stuff. Um, it was something I wanted to do on the... Uh... No, I don't have a hoe anywhere. Apparently not. Something I always wanted to do on the uh, original Crafters Season 1 server was set up this base and I started building it. I built like the first room of it underground towards like the end of the series. I never finished it. Right, so... What I think we should do is have a little pumpkin area at the back here. No. Mm, how many do we want? We don't want many. So if we save that's going to be like that. We can till the land here. Now, is that going to be thingy? Yeah, apparently, yeah, that's getting uh, thingy. <laughs> thingy, yes. Um, so that's where pumpkins will go, because we don't need many pumpkins, so... That's not going to be a big setup at all. Right, but what we will have is quite a big melon thing, because melons can be quite a nice source of food. So we'll plant a lot of melon plants. Right, okay, so... I guess maybe the rest could be potatoes, and then carrots could be on that side. Or maybe the way round, I think this should be all carrots. And then on that side there, that should be potatoes. Okay. Right, let's do that then. Now what I should do is plant these as we go. Uh, unfortunately we only have one carrot. Whoops, should have thought about that. Um, might be time for me to go break out a bone meal to kind of speed things along a little bit here. Uh, or maybe someone's got some carrots I could borrow to help uh, speed up this process. Let's see. Bone meal will be. Well. Yes, I know there's a lot of. Uh... Oh, this is problematic, isn't it? I'm not going to throw Uh, Wood can go in here. Um. We don't need these birch saplings. That should, that should help a bit. Right, well, I'll just carry the rest around with me. I mean, it's more efficient to carry around the bones and the bone meal. But anyway, uh, yeah, it's, it's going to be time to start moving out to a, a future base. Um, and hopefully, this time we'll be able to get all set up. Um, the place I have in mind, uh, I will say that it's a uh, extreme hills biome. Um, right, how are we going to do this? Right, it's free. Um, so what I'm thinking is there's going to be a bit of a uh, 
how do, how do I, uh, how would I describe it? A bit of a... I think there's going to be a big overground bit in this extreme hills with a huge, like, uh, like a huge fortress style. Uh, oh yeah, bone meal it. What was I saying now? Um, um, yeah, so there's going to be a big overground kind of fortress bit with like towers and stuff like that. And then there's going to be um, some kind of... And then there's going to be a secret underground base under it all. Which will be really kind of like all high-tech, modern kind of feel to it, I think. I might try and make like big computer rooms and all kinds of like a proper secret base hidden away under this, what would appear to be an old, like, fort. Um, really quite far underground. That's kind of the, the uh, image I have in my head. Um, right, I probably should have to bone meal all of these. Um, and of course, we're going to have uh, automated farms for as many things as I can. So you know all the different kinds of uh, uh, XP grinders. You know, we'll hopefully get a skeleton spawner, and a zombie spawner. And we'll link everything up with like uh, a railway system. There's going to be some decorative bits. We'll have very large storage rooms, of course. Um, You know what, while I'm here, I guess we can uh, speed this along a little. Um, there's going to be like big furnace rooms. Um, whoops, that's not what I wanted to do. We now have uh, three rows. Um, I, um, there's going to be a lot of stuff, pretty much everything that you need to... Uh, survive, you know, underground animal farms, we'll get some grass down there. Um, it should be pretty cool, um, of course it's going to be an expensive job to set up all this. Um, I, I also want it to have very nice big scale, so some very large rooms will be a big central hub. Um, so, um, obviously, um, it's going to be, uh, it's going to be interesting to plan all that out as well. Um, how much more fence have I got? Only 15, okay. So, um, how about make it parallel to this? Oops, right, and then it would go. Well, okay, this time let's do it normally. Right, that should be better. Um, so, if any of you you, the audience, have any suggestions for what should go in this base I speak of, um, then they would certainly be appreciated because as soon as I start moving out there I'm going to start planning um, planning the actual location of it um, because I want it to be quite well thought out and I want to just uh, start throwing in all these rooms and stuff otherwise it's going to be difficult to build the kind of underground uh, railway bit. Okay, I probably don't need much more than that, do I? Um, I think I've made too much, but it doesn't matter. Um, right. So then let's do this. Whoops. Oh, come on now. Let's not have any silliness. Oh, what? <laughs> Just lagging a bit here. Um, oh, I've got two crafting tables here for some reason. Oh, okay. Come on. Oh. It's kind of dark. Alright. Need a few of these. Ah, that's better. 
don't want to spawn any knees. That would be problematic. Um, so, like I said, it's certainly going to be. Uh, it's going to be the next big thing that I do on Craftadium, I think. And then once we've got our nice base set up, we can start building all just random builds. So, you know, just fun little projects, I guess. It's, it's going to be uh, the order of things once, once our base is set up. Uh, I've just realised I've not educated it yet. I'm also failing at using Minecraft's controls. But, um, another thing as well about the, uh, um, the uh, updates. Um, the snapshot's been released, the first snapshot for 1.7, and of course, as we knew there would be, there's uh, terrain changes, which means that uh, when 1.7 comes out, if we use the current craftanium map there's going to be uh, all kinds of strange uh, chunk boundaries going on where the old terrain gen ends and the new terrain gen starts um, we are quite aware of that um, and um, of course the question is going to be might we reset the craftanium map and possibly start a, a season 3 um, I've decided that that's probably not going to be the case if we can help it um, I've heard unconfirmed rumours that the maps may be incompatible, but I've not seen any official statement on this. Um, as far as I'm aware, we should be able to use this, and um, all we have to make sure we do is, is that if the... We've, see, we've got a DIN map on uh, craftanium.com, which took uh, a setup for us, um, which allows us to see where terrain hasn't been generated, um, you know, where the edge of the generator... Uh, land is uh, so that means that on the edge of that will be where those uh, where the odd chunk boundaries will occur um, so we can prepare for that um, which is good um, you know what I could do I could have reeds here and then behind that I could have cacti anything is so right I need to test something because cacti can't go up against most things so, cause does that work with reeds let's have a look okay oh oh no it works okay that's good that's good um Right, okay, so we'll have our cacti and our... Oh, hold on, no, we won't, because the cactus is going to be up against this fence, isn't it? Oh, I don't think about that. Oh, okay, uh... Hmm. How about cactus up to the edge of here and then reeds? Uh... Those reeds have to be in the water, don't they? So. There must be water here for the potatoes. I don't know. We don't need cactus that much, do we? So. I guess it doesn't really matter if. Oh. Uh, if we're wasting, like, a row here or whatever. But yes, um, we will try our best to use the current Craftanium map because, you know, it's only just now that people finally start to spread out. We've got our transport sorted with the transport hub out that way and everything like that. Um, and it'd seem a shame now to, you know, go all the way back to square one just as people are starting to head out there. Uh, frame rate's starting to die here for some odd reason. That's not good. Let's cycle the uh, yeah, it looks like Fraps is starting to do that thing again, so we'll have to hurry up and finish here, uh, unfortunately. Um, let's see. I can't really do much more with that at the moment, so let's... Uh, okay, 
it seems to be holding up fine for now. Let's grow some potato. Okay, uh Let's get some of this. Oh, where was I? Um, come on. Don't need fat. Um, I completely forgot what I was going to say. Yeah, um, we will avoid um, starting the new map for 0.7. Um, what we're going to have to do is basically. Um, make sure that we go out and generate any land near where people have set up because otherwise you know the, the strange chunk boundary things that happen are going to be really close to people's stuff so um, uh, if we uh, go out fill in all the land before the update and make sure that the newly generated land will be far away from any pre-existing uh, things. Yeah. <laughs> Pre-existing things. That's the technical term for it. Um, and it, should, it shouldn't be too much of a problem. And there is of course also the question, you know, wouldn't it be better to wait until the new biomes come along before um, before heading out and starting the whole, you know, base and everything. And, uh, um, that's one more. Oh, come on now. Right, that's that. Um, so uh, we've got potatoes, cactus, and reeds. Melons, pumpkins, and what was the other thing? Carrots. So I think that's mostly everything. There's cocoa beans that I could sell somewhere. I'll bite them off camera, I can't bother right now. Um, as this is starting to die at the moment. So, um, oh god, why does it do this? I've never quite understood why it just lags out. But, um, anyway, um, I was looking at the frame rate, it's confusing me. Um, so, yeah, um, I'm just going to have to stay looking at the ground here so that I don't lag out too badly. Um, oh dear, it's doing it anyway, is it? I don't know, it's time to wrap up, isn't it? I don't think I actually managed to fully finish t talking about what I was... I never managed to finish talking, uh, yeah. I thought I was failing grammar then. Uh, I'm, <laughs> I'm really bad at doing this commentating thing today. I don't know, my br brain's just like lost all communication skills and I'm just like, bleh. Um, this was apparently not a good time to record a video. This is like the worst video I've done in a while, but uh, regardless, um, <laughs> it's got lag, it's me stumbling over my words of the entire thing and talking about boring, inconsequential things like terrain updates. But yeah, um, I can't, I, I've honestly completely lost track of what I was talking about. It was something about um, new, the new biomes. I, I think, I think I was saying um, I'm not going to uh, bother going out to some of the new ones. Um, I know a lot of people are, and we'll, we're not going to use the snapshots at the moment, I don't think, because we're adding terrain things, and if every time there's a new terrain update, and if we use consecutive snapshots, there's going to be multiple of those chunk boundaries things, and I don't really want even more of those, so uh, that's that in a nutshell, so uh, I might as well conclude this now, so... Uh, uh, that's all from me for now. Um, if you liked this video, which <laughs> seriously, I'd be surprised if you did, a like would really be appreciated. Subscribe for more, and don't forget to leave feedback in the comments. That's all from me. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.